We are currently witnessing a humanitarian crisis in India of proportions never witnessed before, as medical infrastructure is buckling under the pressure of a second wave of the deadly COVID-19 virus. There are severe shortages of beds and life-saving equipment with hospitals being overwhelmed and health workers exhausted and becoming infected themselves. Patients in critical conditions are being turned away, many dying at home without access to medical help. We're hearing countless stories of people across social media desperately seeking support for themselves or loved ones for access to hospital beds or oxygen, a key treatment for seriously ill patients. Carter Aid launched its global emergency program across North America, Europe and Asia to provide vital oxygen supplies and critical medical equipment. In days, we were able to send hundreds of oxygen concentrators thanks to the generosity of our volunteers, donors and corporate partners. Calsa Aid is one of them. It's collected hundreds of oxygen concentrators and alongside Virgin Atlantic plans to fly them out to India on Saturday. Our medical supplies including ventilators and oxygen equipment have arrived uh, from the UK in India. Ravi Singh is uh, founder and chief executive of Calsa Aid International. Folks here at Calsa Aid have managed to get together huge quantities of life-saving equipment in a very short space of time as well. Calsa Aid has men and women on the ground in India already supporting families. Jaspal Singh, an airline pilot and Calsa Aid volunteer from the UK, flew our first cargo of oxygen concentrators with Virgin Atlantic. Days later, we sent our next cargo of oxygen ventilators with British Airways. Our dedicated and passionate team in India have been actively working with state hospitals, community groups and vulnerable people to identify and distribute these life-saving supplies across 16 states and union territories across India, including 17 districts of Punjab. There is still much to do, and our teams are actively working with the government and civil state hospitals to fight this COVID surge. There remains a shortage of oxygen ventilators, oxygen cylinders, and other vital medical equipment. We recognize we cannot do this alone, and with your help, we'll continue to support the people of India in its time of need.